overflows witnessing and awareness witnessing is a technique a method towards awareness it is not awareness but as compared to ordinary activity a unconscious activity it is a higher step something has changed now activity that was unconscious has become conscious now unconsciousness has been replaced by consciousness but something more is still has to be changed something more has to be changed that is now activity has to be replaced by inactivity from moving from the dimension of doing to non-doing the dimension of non-doing is just happening allowing the things to happen but this that will be the second step it is difficult to def jump from ordinary unconscious action into awareness though it is possible but arduous therefore a step in between is very helpful if one begins by witnessing conscious activity then the jump becomes easier the jump into awareness without conscious object without any conscious subject without any conscious activity at all i repeat this as it is important if one begins by witnessing conscious conscious activity then jump is easier the jump into awareness without any conscious object any conscious subject and without any conscious activity three things are important without conscious object or consciousness about the object about the subject and about conscious activity that is a state of non doing just allowing things to happen this does not mean that awareness is not consciousness it is pure consciousness but no one is conscious about it there is a still a difference between consciousness and awareness consciousness is the quality of your mind but it is not your total mind a quality of the mind but not your total mind your total mind can be both conscious and unconscious but when you are when you transcend the mind there is no unconsciousness at all and there is no corresponding consciousness either that state is of awareness awareness alone consciousness is the quality of the mind but it is not your total mind mind can be both unconscious and conscious but when you transcend the mind there is no unconsciousness and at the same time there is no corresponding consciousness both dissolve then what remains there is awareness alone awareness means that total mind has become aware awareness means total mind has become aware consciousness and unconsciousness the two qualities have dissolved 
Now the old mind is not there. Sometimes at certain moments you experience that. Now the old mind is not there, but there is the quality of being conscious. Quality of being conscious. Awareness has become the totality. The mind itself now part of the awareness. Mind is the part of awareness. You cannot say that mind is aware, but instead mind is part of awareness. We can only meaningfully say that mind is conscious. Awareness means transcendence of the mind. So it is not the mind that is aware. So mind, remember this, awareness means transcendence of the mind. When mind is transcended, then you cannot say that it is the mind that is aware. It is only through transcendence of the mind. It is only through the transcendence of the mind through going beyond the mind, awareness becomes possible. Awareness becomes possible only through the transcendence of the mind or through going beyond the mind. So transcendence is possible Transcendence is beyond the mind and when you go beyond the mind then awareness becomes possible, not before that. Consciousness is the quality of the mind and awareness is the transcendence. This is the basic difference. Consciousness is the quality of the mind and awareness is the transcendence. Awareness is the transcendence. Awareness is going beyond the mind. Mind as such is the medium of duality. So consciousness can never transcend duality because there are two things, consciousness and unconsciousness. It is always conscious of something and there is always someone who is conscious. Isn't it so? There is always conscious of some, it is always, mind is always conscious of something and there is some, someone who is conscious. So consciousness is part and parcel of the mind. Indeed the mind as such is the source of all duality, all divisions whether they are between subject and object, between activity and inactivity, consciousness and unconsciousness, each type of duality is mental and awareness is non-dual. So awareness means a state of no mind. Then what is the relationship between consciousness and witnessing? Witnessing is a state and consciousness is a means towards witnessing. Witnessing is a state that comes to you and consciousness is the means towards witnessing. If you begin to be conscious, you achieve witnessing. If you begin to be conscious of your acts, conscious of your day-to-day -day happenings, conscious of everything that surrounds you, then you begin to witness. Witnessing comes as a consequence of consciousness. You cannot practice witnessing. You can only practice consciousness. You can only practice consciousness as you are practicing consciousness. Witnessing comes as a consequence of that. 
process. It is a shadow. As a result, as a byproduct, the more you become conscious, the more you are, you go into witnessing, the more you come to be a witness, it all happens as a consequence, as a shadow of being conscious. So consciousness is a method to achieve witnessing. And the second step is that witnessing will become a method to achieve awareness. Consciousness is a technique or a method to become witness. Witnessing is the shadow of awareness, shadow of consciousness. And then one day witnessing becomes the method to achieve awareness. So consciousness, constant consciousness leads to the process of witnessing and constant witnessing leads you to achieve awareness. Thus, these three steps, there are three steps, consciousness, witnessing and awareness. But where man exists is the lower, lowest rank, that is the unconscious activity. Unconscious activity is the state of our mind. Through consciousness you can achieve witnessing and through witnessing you can achieve awareness and through awareness you achieve no achievement. Through awareness you can achieve already achieve that which is already there. That's why Buddha said the moment he became aware, he realized that there was nothing to be achieved. Through awareness, you can achieve all that is already there. As I keep on saying, you are already that which you are or which you ought to be. The only thing is this, you are unconscious about it. So become more and more aware, um, conscious of it. Witnessing process will begin. And then one day witnessing will lead you to be aware of that you are, you already are. After awareness, there is nothing. Awareness is the end. Awareness is the end of the spiritual progress. Unawareness is the beginning. If you become 100% conscious, you become a witness. If you become a witness, you have come to the jumping point from where the jump into awareness becomes possible. In awareness, you lose witness and only witnessing remains. Only witnessing remains. You lose the doer, you lose the subjectivity, you lose the egocentric consciousness, then consciousness remains without ego. The circumference remains without center. Know this circumference without center as awareness. Consciousness without center, without any source, without any motivation, without any source from where it, from where it comes. No source consciousness is awareness. Enough for now.